Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Carol Ray, and I am the founder and owner of uh, Notary to Pro. I'm a retired escrow officer and manager of two different companies. And after retirement, I spent 14 years as a loan signing agent. In 2009, at the age of 66, I realized that there was no comprehensive, really detailed training out there for loan signing agents. So I put this course together and uh, not I'm technologically challenged every day because I chose the internet as a platform for teaching. Uh, I have here today one of my recent graduates and I'd like to turn the floor over to him and let him introduce uh, himself. Hello, my name is Tom Floyd and I am very new to the loan signing business. I spent 30 years in mortgage lending, mortgage banking and I retired and then I got bored. So I started to do this. Uh, I called it part-time, but it's turned into a challenge. So it's full-time. Uh, Notary Pro was Notary to Pro was not my first choice uh, for training, only because I pucked around the internet and saw this gentleman who was advertising you could make six figures doing notary signing. So I thought that sounded interesting. Uh, so I took his courses, I passed them all, got certified. But then I realized I didn't really know anything about the business. I didn't know how to go out and market myself. Uh, I really didn't know much about the documents because there was not a lot of time spent on individual documents in the training courses. So uh, I called a, a lady who uh, is in the area, she's a notary. And fortunately, she's very nice. And I asked her, how did you get started and what would you advise me to do if I wanted to be successful at this? So she said, you should uh, call a gentleman named Ronnie Mickle. Uh, he owns a company and he's a, a no nonsense, down to earth guy. He's got a great program and he's partnered, partnered up with Carol Ray who owns Notary Pro. And, and if you call Ronnie, he will get you going. And uh, so I did. I called Ronnie and uh, he advised me to take uh, the courses for Notary to Pro. I did that. I passed uh, all the exams and then I signed up for uh, Ronnie's uh, uh, courses. Um, I'm missing the name of it right now, but Notary Starts. And uh, I take weekly uh, training classes uh, on Notary Stars. And I can't tell you what it's meant to have Carol there for my questions, because I've had many. I've only closed uh, the, today, I just did my 18th signing, and I've had many, many mistakes, uh, which I'm not proud of, but uh, I have fixed them all up to this point, thankfully. And uh, as I said, if it were not for Carol, I wouldn't have gotten this far. I can tell you, I would have, I would have quit this business. <laughs> it's just, it's very hard for new people, and I can I can tell anyone that. Uh, but the more you take the training, the more comfortable you become, and the better you will be. So uh, that's about it as far as an intro. How did you market yourself? You were so new. Well, I, I signed up. First of all, I asked Carol, I think, how would you market yourself as a new person? And she said, sign up with all the agencies and here's a list. So she sent me a list. I signed up with, I don't know, 20 agencies um, and sent all of my credentials out. I did my little bio, uh, which goes along with all the credentials. And um, at first I had a very long narrative bio. that It, it was too long. And, I, and that was brought to my attention by Ronnie Mickle. And he said, uh, you need to keep it short. You need to keep it specifically focused on the training you've received. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to name names. So I did. I, I shortened my bio and I, I said on there that I was uh, uh, trained by uh, Carol Ray. And uh, a lot of people know Carol's name. So I think that carried some weight. And I also indicated that I was uh, uh, 
signed up and finished all the courses with with Ronnie's company, uh, Notary Stars. And uh, that's been a great help as well because they do what they call boot camp, uh, you know, uh, videos. And you can go back and look at uh, document by document uh, of uh, any kind of a loan, whether it be a purchase or a refi or a buyer or a seller or reverse mortgage, no matter what it is, they've done boot camps and covered literally every document that you see. So that's been really helpful. Uh, but that's how I market myself is to sign up with all the agencies. And at first I didn't get many, I'll call them pings, but uh, then I started getting some. And if you're new in the business, you're not going to get the ones that are next door. Uh, I found that out. I, uh, I tend to get offers for signings that are in faraway places. <laughs> uh, and I took a lot of them in the beginning, but now I'm beginning to pick and choose the signings that I take that are, that are closer to my residence because it really sometimes is not cost effective to travel two hours one way to do a signing and get paid $65. So uh, I figured that out and, and now I, I, uh, I try to focus on uh, making $90 my minimum as, a, as an average. And uh, it's working out better. I'll put it that way. Uh, I'm averaging one signing a day now for the past week and a half. And uh, I turned down a lot that are not cost effective for me. So that's about that. Tell us, I, I know what it was like, but tell, uh, tell everybody uh, how you felt when you got your first signing. Wow. Uh, I was nervous, and that's an understatement. Uh, I knew I wasn't prepared to answer questions that the signers may have, so I was apprehensive going in, and, uh, you know, once I got there, meeting the people was not, that's easy for me. But when it came down to answering questions about the documents, I literally had to read the document to answer the question. And that's not good because they realize how inexperienced I was. So that didn't help any. And, and that made me more nervous. Um, so it was, it was nerve wracking. How did you feel the once it was over? Ah, my first feeling was relief that I'd gotten out of there. And then I started worrying about, oh my goodness, what did I forget? What did I not do right? What did I not have them sign or date? Or what did I notarize properly? So the first signing had all those questions in my mind as I walked out the door. So uh, my relief didn't last very long because sure enough, I got a call after I sent the scan backs in and I had missed a couple of dates and I'd also, uh, uh, I forget, I, I had about three, three things I had to go back and correct on my first sign. So, but you did it graciously, you accepted responsibility. I did. I, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually, I felt good about it because I didn't want these people to suffer financially or any other way because of what I screwed up. So I felt like I, you know, I'd accomplished something when I got it done properly. So it worked out and, and, and I was gracious about it. I certainly didn't uh, have any uh, feelings of uh, animosity toward anyone except myself. I felt like I'd let people down. So I was happy to go back and get it corrected. Good, good, proud of you. Um, so what, what advice would you give to uh, somebody just looking into this business? I would say the biggest thing is to realize you're not in this alone. Uh, if you sign up with the right training, the right help, people are there to help you. And, and uh, I, as I said before, I don't know how I would have gotten through this without Carol. Uh, Ronnie Mickle has been a great help giving me advice on how to market myself and how to do things. Uh, so I'd say the biggest thing, big, the, the uh, number one uh, piece of advice I would give a new notary is a signing agent. Uh, 
is to realize you're not in this alone. Reach out for people that can and will help you and you'll you'll get through it. Very good. And your interaction with the signers, how's your feeling about that? Do you enjoy this? Are you enjoying I do. the work? Uh, yeah, I really do. Uh, I like meeting new people, uh, hearing their story, whatever it might be. And sometimes you hear a lot and sometimes they don't want to talk. So you don't hear very much. But uh, when we have a two-way conversation, a little bit about what I've done, a little bit about what they've done, you kind of get to know people. And that's that part I do enjoy. Very good. So you're looking forward to a, a, a future of enjoying this, this type of work for quite a long time? I am. Uh, I'd like to do it for 10 years. I don't know if the clock's going to run out on me before then, but uh, I'm going to give it my best shot. And yes, I, I'd like to become really good at this. And I'd like to do, uh, I don't want to do more than seven or so signings a week uh, at this point in my life, but I could do more. I know that. Uh, but if I can do seven a week and do them right, I'll be happy. And uh, I think I can last uh, quite a long time in this business. Now, was your uh, decision to do this, was this, are you retired? You retired, retired from the mortgage industry. Yes, I am retired. But you from... didn't want to just sit and twiddle your thumbs. No, uh, you know, I've been retired 10 years and I really wasn't doing much. I drove for Uber and I drove for Lyft and I did things to keep me busy. I played golf, um, you know, and spent some time with the grandkids, but days are pretty long and, and uh, I got bored. So I need to do something. And so this, this has been uh, a challenge for me and, and I need that. Well, when I first started this back in 2009, I would say the majority, probably 90% of my students were in their 20s and 30s, uh, some in their 40s. Beyond that, I didn't have students that were seniors. Uh, and I personally was retired. And I, as I mentioned, I was 66 years old when I put this together, <clears throat> not knowing anything about the internet, <laughs> decided to do this. But the last few years, we are definitely a senior training center, honestly. I would say a good 80% of my students are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. My oldest student was actually a, a NASA engineer back in the 60s. And he, um, it's been a couple of years, but he was actually in his early 80s and still doing this. So I really wanna get this out for people who have been damaged by what's going on in this country with seniors. They're being disrespected, disregarded and dismissed uh, in a lot of, I hear some stories that are just terrible. Um, so, and I lost my father and a, an uncle who was like my father. At both at the age of 68 without within one year of retirement because they didn't, they chose not to do anything. And uh, without purpose, I think, you know, uh, you just kind of give up. So I'm 68 and I'm still going. <laughs> so I hope I'm an example, people like you and I. Uh, but I really want to thank you for doing this. I know you're going to be wonderful. Kind of been following you and been there for you. So yes, you have. You have <laughs> been there, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I appreciate how you're representing Notary to Pro. I'm losing my voice. So, uh, Tom, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, this is going to be on our YouTube channel, and I think it's going to be an inspiration for people to see you and how, how great you look and, and, and just how excited you are about this business. Well, thank you for letting me do it. Um, I'm glad to maybe give you a little bit back because you've helped me so much. Uh, so I hope it uh, has some impact on some people. I, I hope so. And I, th I think it probably will. So with that, I'll say goodbye and uh, let you know when we've got this up.
up and running. I'll send you a link. Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. Karen. All right. Here. Cheers.